First of all, warm welcome to our uh, webinar sessions. Today, we're going to talk about one of the concepts, one kind of uh, metrics that is called confusion uh, metrics in uh, machine learnings. And we'll talk about some of the examples, okay? So agenda for today's discussion is, we are going to talk about uh, what is confusion metrics and uh, some of the examples and what are the different metrics are available under confusion metrics? What are the different uh, measures? And also we can talk about uh, multi-class classifications and what are the key points uh, as to be considered if you're going to implement the confusion metrics. Let's quickly go through this uh, structured uh, way of learning this uh, program Eureka. So uh, let's talk about the same code, data science with Python, right? Let's, let's go to the roadmap about the program. So this program consists of totally uh, around 10 to 12 or 10, 10 to 11, since much exactly, around 10 different modules. Let's talk about each and every modules each and every modules, end of each and every module, we have a corresponding answer. So let's see one by one. So module one, we're going to talk about introduction to data science and then Python. So what is data science and what are the different applications we can able to create by using data science and what is Python? What are the different operations we can do with Python, Python concepts, operators, op uh, and then uh, data types and control statement, flow controls, all those introduction concepts we're going to talk about in the module one, followed by we have an answer. In module two, we are going to talk about what is sequences and file operations. So what is a sequence? Sequence is a collection of elements and what are the different file operations we can perform on the uh, external files. I'll just quickly go through it in module three, we're going to talk about functions, like what are the functions? How do we create user defined functions? And OOPS concepts, object oriented programming concepts. And uh, how do we create a modules in Python? Exceptional handling in Python. Okay, so error and exception handling. How do we handle the exceptions in Python? In module four, we are going to talk about NumPy, Pandas, and Matplotlib. Okay, by using those three library, we are going to perform a lot of data analysis tasks, like uh, understanding the data collections, data manipulations and then uh, data visualizations. So a lot of tasks we can perform by using those three libraries. Module five, predominantly we are using for data manipulations, how we can manipulate our data, like data pre-processing steps. And then like, how do we uh, do a lot of uh, data joining operations, data grouping, and uh, create the new features. All those concepts we are going to discuss by using data manipulation concepts by using pandas modules. Module six onwards, we are going to talk about machine learning concepts. So there is an introduction to machine learnings in Python. So there are, what are the different types of machine learning? What are the different applications we can able to create by using machine learnings? All those things we're covering in the module six. Module seven is mainly for some of the supervised learning techniques like uh, what is linear regression, logistic regressions, and then tree-based algorithms, nave-based algorithms, support vector machines. For different algorithms, both regressions as well as classification techniques, we're going to talk about in module seven. Module eight, we're going to talk about dimensionality reduction. So what is dimensional reductions? Reducing the number of features. Suppose I'm getting thousands attributes. So the model, machine learning model creation, all those attributes are not important. So what we can do, we will simply remove the unwanted fields, okay? And take only those important features. So that kind of concept we're calling as dimensionality reductions. Module nine, we are going to talk about what is unsupervised learning techniques. What are the different algorithms are available? What are the different uh, types of unsupervised learnings? Classifications, that is called clustering techniques and then association rules. Module 10, we're going to talk about reinforcement learning techniques. This is one kind of uh, machine learning techniques. This will work based on error and trial methods, the feedback based mechanism. So this is a complete roadmap about the program for the data science with Python certifications. Let's move forward. So once we complete the one, you will get the certification. The certification is recognized by multiple MNC company. Okay. Next is we'll talk about 
what is confusion matrix so confusion matrix is one kind of measures one kind of performance matrix for the classification problems so machine learning there are two types of category for the unsupervised learning right one is for regression for the continuous variables and then categorical variable we have a classification techniques so if you want to measure the classification techniques we have to go with confusion matrix so in the healthcare sector so i want to uh, predict the person uh, is having uh, diagnosed with some uh, disease or not yes or no and also we can give the correct uh, medicine to the reports the person or not or the person is going to buy the insurance or not for the different healthcare sector this confusion matrix is very much important okay so next we'll talk about what are the things available in confusion matrix confusion matrix is a tabular format reports like uh, this will compare the data between what we got it from the input that is called actual data and what is my predicted data what is my model is predicted to compare between these two value and then we can form the matrix the tabular output okay this will contains there are four different matrix true positive true negative false positive false negative so basically this diagonal is a correctly classified output okay my model is giving one my output is also one okay so it means again my model is uh, uh, zero my output is also zero so it means there's a true value whatever we got from the input feed the historical feed same thing my model is also predicting on it so this kind of data we're calling as the true positive true negative data and this diagonal like a false positive okay i'm getting zero my model predicted one incorrectly classified records again this is zero the reverse vice versa right my input is one my model predicting zero so this diagonal data we are calling as error data so it means model is incorrectly classified for that okay so this is the confusion matrix will look like uh, it will have the four different matrix let's talk about what is confusion matrix right so what is confusion matrix is a one kind of problem so one kind of performance evaluation for the classification models like so this is used to evaluate uh, how the model is performing it is performing well or not performing well okay so this is one kind of performance reports for the classification algorithms so as i told you this diagonal the green color is correctly classified okay means uh, this red color is incorrectly classified okay let's take an example so let's take an example so okay i have let's see my target variable that is called the my output right that is called dependent variables right so the dependent variable could be classification the person is getting income is greater than 50k or less than 50k yes or no right so this is my actual output okay let's see now with the examples so we have a different uh, data set so working ex experience which class which gender hour per week right about the age so based on this independent variable my this is my dependent variables right a dependent variable could be either greater than 50k or less than 50k only two possible values okay so what i have to do as a data scientist as a data analyst uh, i would say for data scientist machine learning engineer so we need to do the performance of the models so i got the input like this right i 50k less than 50k get a 50k okay what my model is getting predicted okay so this is the actual value actual value is nothing but what value we got it from the input feed next one is the predicted value so what my model is predicted what what is the output i got it from the machine learning models okay so we need to plot those two values in the tabular format okay let's say true positive true positive means my input is uh, greater than 50k my model is also predicted greater than 50k true negative my input is uh, less than 50k my model is also predicting less than 50k okay it means this is a true value true positive means one true negative means true means to correct correctly classify okay false means okay my input the real value is greater than 50k my model is predicted incorrectly less than 50k so that is the wrong classifications 
same is this of the wrong classifications. So this is the examples how the data will be come in the matrix format. This is the one. So okay, this will give you the count. Okay, not the individual records. So out of this one, right? So we have a 150 plus uh, 120, right? Uh, 250, 270 records are correctly classified. Okay, only 30 record, 270 out of 300 records. Okay, only the 30 records are incorrectly classified. Okay, this is we are calling as error records. Okay, the green color we are calling as correctly classified records. Okay, so this is the way we can able to get the data and the confusion metrics. Okay, once we form this four value that is called true, positive, true, negative, false, positive, false, negative. So we can get the corresponding metrics. Okay, let's talk about metrics. So there are four different metrics. We can get it from confusion metrics. One is for accuracy. Accuracy is the uh, how model is working fine. So the, the proportion of total number of predictions that were correctly classified. So, so we have a 300 records out of 300, 270 records are correctly classified. So I want to find compare between 300 with the 270. That is called accuracy. Okay. Precisions, the proportion of, okay, accuracy I can calculate, like uh, take all the true uh, positive value. So true values, the numerator, the denominator, take a sum of all the values. It's a total records value. Okay. This is the accuracy matrix. Okay. Accuracy will compare between, it means, right, my accuracy is 90% accuracy. Okay. In the numerator, right, 150 plus 120, this is a green signal, green light, the green data, divided with total records, 300. 270 to be 300, you get a 90% accuracy. Okay. Accuracy will compare with the proportion of true values that were correctly classified. Okay. Next is the precision. Precision is a proportion of correct positive predictions. Okay. So only for positives. Okay. Only for it will take only for positive values. What is true positive? 150 divided by 160. Yeah. See this? 150, the true positive divided by true positive plus false positive because this is the positive record, right? The false positive value. I would say this is uh, one, right? One means this is the positive value. This is zero. Same thing. Okay. So my output will get like this. So it means my precision will be 93 percentage accuracy. Sorry, 93 percentage value. Not accuracy, I would say it's a precision value. Okay. Next is the recall. So recall is one kind of measure. So it is going to identify the true positive value. Okay. Again, true only positive value, true positive. Again, uh, 150 plus, sorry, divided by 170, almost 88 percentage. Only the true positive. How the true positive, uh, it is comparing with the complete uh, true values. Okay. That is the recall value, recall matrix. So FN score, uh, it's a precision and recall of the classification. So like how the precision and recall we already calculated and apply the formula two into precision of multiply by recall there will be precision will recall. Okay. Once you apply this, we'll get a F1 score. F1 score is 90% accuracy. So to get all the metrics, right? I would say for to get all these four metrics, we need to form the confusion matrix table, table format. Once we form the confusion matrix table, we can easily classify, we can easily calculate these four metrics. Let's talk about some of the key points in confusion matrix. So what are the points has to be considered? So once we uh, do that, we need to do the evaluations uh, very holistic manner. So basically, right, the confusion metrics we are using for this classification model techniques. Okay, and also we need to consider the data is balanced or not. If it's imbalanced to one, my confusion metrics for the imbalanced data set. Okay. Okay, precision recall, we need to correct classify. And also we need to have the, we have to go for either it's a binary classifications or multi-class classifications. Binary means only two values, zeros and ones. Multi-class means more than two types of classification, more than two outputs. Suppose sometime, right? The person uh, like uh, is going to, uh, maybe three kind of outputs, three different output. Okay, that is more than two classes, more than two, uh, distinct values in my dependent variables. Okay. That we are calling as multi-class. 
so the confusion matrix is suitable for both like uh, binary classifications and then multi class classifications thank you guys thank you for joining the webinar thank you all